This morning on The Dish, award-winning chef Franklin Becker, who's best known for creating unique, boldly flavored dishes. Six years ago, he was named a New York's rising star by Star Chefs. Now he's executive chef at two New York City restaurants, Abe and Arthur's and Lexington Brass. Chef Becker brought his ultimate dish this morning, slow-roasted chicken with Provencal herbs. Great to see you, chef. Oh, nice to see you. So you brought us the chicken. What else is on the plate? Oh, well, you know what? We did some chicken with some cauliflower that's finished with a raisin and emulsion, some peanut potatoes. We're starting off with some tuna niçoise because I like to start mm. off a meal really light. Oh, yeah. And we're ending with some grilled pineapple and coconut gelée. And it's, it's delicious. Oh, thank you very All much. All of it. Which is interesting because, okay, so you found out when you were younger you're diabetic. Yes. And you have pineapple here on this plate, which surprises me. You can eat that. You can. You know, you have to do things in moderation uh, when you're a diabetic. And you also have to follow your doctor's orders, obviously. But when you're when you're um, a diabetic, you want to just eat smaller portions and kind of graze throughout your meal, and that's what I choose to do. Uh, keeps my weight normal and keeps everything consistent. And what about this plate? Do you recommend to people who have diabetes or could develop diabetes? Well, it's it's simple, but it's flavorful. It's a it's a roast chicken, and obviously everybody can have a roast chicken. Um, but it's really flavorful with some orange and some lemon, uh, herbs de Provence, which are rosemary and thyme and, and garlic mm. and shallots, and it just all comes to life a little bit. You know, really, really simple and clean. Uh, the cauliflower is interesting in that it's basted in some brown butter, mm. uh, finished with some a little bit of raisins and um, some pistachio nuts for texture and crunch. Uh, peanut potatoes, really simply roasted. It's just nice. This is my first time eating on TV, by the way, and it's, it's fantastic. Mine too, by I, the way. I, I've got to do no, more just of this. So. No. I like to do it as often as possible, Chip. Um, when it, when it comes to meals for diabetics, I've always my grandma's a diabetic. A lot of people in my family are diabetics. You get this misnomer that it can't be flavorful. That you have to go light on that part to get to the healthy part, and this know, really defies me. that. No, this really <laughs> defies that, and I Thank love you. that about it. Um, you also are, you're wearing an Autism Speaks pin today. Your son yes. is autistic. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, autism, I mean, we're in World Autism Awareness Month right now, and, and um, tomorrow's actually uh, World Autism Awareness Day. Uh, I don't know what I can say other than the fact that it's a, a devastating disorder that affects families uh, financially, emotionally, um, it, it's it's a hard thing for as a father to see your your child suffering from a disorder. And you know, for me, I, I just wanted to do something that would make a difference. And um, I, I chair an event called Autism Speaks to Wall Street Celebrity Chefs Gala. Yes. Um, we've raised about nine million dollars over the past five years. Um, all the chefs come out and participate. It's on October 9th. Um, you know, my restaurants, Aben Authors and Lexington Brass, uh, we're lighting up, lighting it up blue, um, as is the Empire State Building and and um, all the famous buildings it's in the world. Soy sauce. What would you keep in your kitchen? Is that, <laughs> is that your soy right? sauce? This is the first. Soy sauce is my favorite ingredient in my cupboard because it can accent and flavor just about anything. Well, Chef Becker, we would love to have you sign a dish here. It's a tradition oh, with pleasure. us here at The Dish at CBS This Morning Saturday.